The Subaru BRZ is equipped with a newly designed boxer engine, FA20. The FA20 engine is a sportier version of the new FB20 engine, with a more powerful output and a higher running speed. The FA20 engine allows the new BRZ to be fun to drive while still conforming to the environmental requirements for fuel consumption and emissions. Changes include a new bore stroke ratio as well as some other fundamental design modifications. By adopting an RWD drivetrain, the new design features a lower mounting position of the power unit layout. Various arrangements to the rear, now close to the center of the vehicle body, have also been realized. This emphasizes the low center of gravity of the boxer engine and has made possible to improve the agility of the vehicle, while at the same time providing better stability. Not only the main engine unit, but also the auxiliary equipment and other components are lighter and arranged in a more compact layout, so that the overall height of the engine has been kept as low as possible. Adopting the D4S, direct and port fuel injection system, with a completely unique fuel injection system, enabled us to realize high levels of achievement in both environment-friendly performances and high performance output, with 100 PS per liter of displacement. D4S is a dual fuel injection system utilizing DEI, direct injection, and conventional port injection in combination, to ensure optimum combustion under all load conditions of the engine. This configuration resulted in an increased output, as well as a more precise control of the fuel injection quantity and timing. This system is already being mass-produced for other companies and it has also been adapted for the BRZ. In the original D4S system adopted previously by other companies, the maximum fuel pressure of the DI was approximately 13 MPa. In the D4S system of the BRZ, the DI maximum fuel pressure has been increased to 20 MPa, which resulted in a higher fuel injection control performance. On the other hand, the fuel injection configuration of the port injection system on the low pressure side has also been refined, and the mixture formation has also been improved. An optimal use of these two systems together has made possible to widen the range in a homogeneous combustion process from low speeds to high speeds and from low loads to high loads and has also made possible to achieve a well-balanced combination of the stratified combustion process without introducing any airflow control devices such as the tumble generating valve and the swirl control valve. Let's now take a closer look at the direct injection system. The high pressure fuel injection pump installed on the left hand side of the engine is driven by the pump cam on the intake camshaft and it pressurizes and sends fuel to the left and the right fuel rail to inject it via the injectors. The high pressure fuel pump has a built in solenoid valve for an optimum adjustment of the fuel pressure and to supply a certain amount of fuel. This is the so called electromagnetic spill valve and it is controlled by the ECM and driven by the high voltage received from the EDU. The pressurized fuel goes through a check valve and is supplied to the fuel rail and the injectors. The relief valve controls abnormal pressure. The fuel rail has a fuel pressure sensor installed. The fuel pressure is detected and the feedback control is performed. Now let's see the conventional port injection system. The fuel pump is mounted in the fuel tank and this pump is also used for the supply of fuel to the high pressure fuel system. The pump has a built-in type of fuel pressure regulator. Fuel is supplied through the fuel piping, injectors are installed on the intake manifold directly before each cylinder and the optimum amount of fuel is injected according to the ECM commands. The injectors have been improved to spray with a finer atomization to reduce the fuel touch on the intake manifold wall. 
This results in a more stable air and fuel mixture rate. The FB20 engine has a long stroke configuration of 84 mm by 90 mm. The FA20 engine has been redesigned with a square configuration of 86 mm by 86 mm to achieve good performances in high speed driving with quick response and a good torque in the medium and low speed range. The piston has a special surface treatment on the skirt portion to prevent damages at high speeds. The new crown surface design suits perfectly the combustion chamber used by the D4S system. The compression ratio has a high spec of 12.5. The connecting rod has been redesigned with a weight reduction corresponding to the engine high speeds and the stiffness of the big end has been improved to meet the requirements of a higher output. The location of the BRZ power unit is optimized to meet the BRZ concept and its center of gravity is set in a lower position further back near the vehicle center. The intake direction of the air to the engine for Subaru conventional vehicles was from the rear side. In case of the BRZ, the intake air flows to the engine from the front side thanks to the reduced airflow resistance of the RWD engine layout. By adopting this layout together with an increased throttle valve diameter from 60 mm to 65 mm, the total airflow resistance could be reduced by 20% in comparison to the FB20 engine. To further lower the center of gravity of the engine, the height of the intake manifold was reduced by 65 mm. The exhaust system has also been redesigned with a new power unit layout in a lower position further back. And the height of the front part of the exhaust pipes just after the engine has been reduced by 90 mm, using a more compact method of manufacturing. To reduce exhaust interference, the exhaust pipe assembly layout has been constructed into a 421 collecting pipe system. The AVCS controlling the intake and exhaust valves and determining the optimum timing according to the driving conditions is adopted into the FA20 engine as well as into the FB20 engine. By using an additional function of a holding mechanism called intermediate lock mechanism on the intake side of the FA20 engine, the control was stabilized by fixing the overlap amount of angles in a given condition. This resulted in an improved torque values and reduced fuel consumption. Various weight reduction measures have been implemented on the engine assembly. For example, integration of the ignition coil and igniter. Reduced size of the ECU body. Replacement of the plastic material for the pulleys of the V ribbon belt and more. The engine development explained above has made the following results possible in comparison with the FB20 engine. The comparison below shows the main specifications that characterize this improved performance in comparison with the FB20 engine. Thank you very much for your attention. The differential is located in the rear axle. Two types of rear differentials are available, type FD20A and type FD20AT. The installed type of differential depends on the chosen trim level. The rear differential type FD2080 uses a torque sensitive LSD. Do not use an on-the-car type wheel balancer which rotates only one wheel on a vehicle equipped with a torque sensitive LSD as the vehicle may move suddenly. The new Subaru BRZ features a four-wheel disc brake system.
ABS with EBD, Electronically Controlled Brake Assistance, DRC, and Vehicle Stability Control are available as standard equipment. A 15-inch or 16-inch type, both in a double piston configuration, are offered as front disc brake calipers, depending on the chosen trim level. For the rear brakes, a 15-inch brake system is available as a solid or ventilated type, depending on the selected specifications. The VSC OFF switch is used to deactivate the vehicle's stability control and traction control. This may be useful when taking off on muddy roads. By pressing the VSC OFF button, TRC is deactivated. Then the TRC OFF indicator lamp in the combination meter turns on. By pressing and holding the VSC OFF button for more than 3 seconds, VSC and TRC will be deactivated. Then the TRC OFF indicator lamp and the VSC OFF indicator lamp in the combination meter will turn on. The traction control and vehicle stability control will become active automatically when the vehicle speed rises. The brake actuator assembly combines the brake actuator and the skid control computer in a small and light unit. The skid control computer is easily replaceable. There are five kinds of controlling software and five kinds of spare parts for the skid control computer. The new Subaru BRZ features a speed-dependent electric power steering. With the speed-dependent electric power steering, the assisting torque at the time of the steering is generated by a motor combined with a reduction mechanism installed on the steering column. The direction and the force of the assisting torque are calculated by the power steering computer, based on the signals from the integrated torque sensor and the vehicle speed sensor. A steering zero-point adjustment is required if the steering column assembly or the powering steering computer have been replaced. In case of malfunction, a fail-safe mode is activated. The output current to the motor is cut or is reduced gradually to a limit value until the system switches to a manual steering mode. At that time, the PS warning lamp in the combination meter turns on and the buzzer sounds. A MacPherson strut is installed in the front suspension. Because of a powertrain layout redesign, the lower suspension arm is installed in the opposite direction compared to the previous Subaru models. The shock absorbers contain a linear control valve and a rebound spring. Bolts with different diameters are available as spare parts for the front camber adjustment. The rear suspension uses a double wishbone configuration. Based on the specification of the 12 model year Impreza, the strength of the arms and the bushings has been optimized to match the BRZ characteristics. With a monocoque construction as the base, Steel plates with high tensile strength are arranged in the window shoulder, and an aluminum front hood is used to lower the center of gravity. The strength of the roof is increased by using a 1500 megapascal grade hot press material on the roof brace. In case of body repair, a spot cutter with a weaker hardness of 500 HP or more is required to remove the roof brace. As the spot welding of this material is difficult, assembly by plug welding should be applied at the time of the repair. Spare parts roof brace has holes for plug welding. 
the new Subaru BRZ features an aluminum front hood and a rod type hood stay. In order to support the front hood when it is completely open, the support point of the hood stay on the car side has been moved. This required to move the support point on the hood side. The front top mount and the bulkhead are connected by a V-shaped performance road to ensure a light body construction with high rigidity. An aluminum undercover is used for protection of the lower part of the power unit and to improve the body rigidity. To simplify maintenance when replacing the component, the front bumper reinforcement and the radiator panel are attached to the body with bolts. The rear bumper reinforcement also is bolted to the body to facilitate its replacement. When the vehicle front is jacked up with a floor jack, the jack is set at the grounding guard. When the rear of the vehicle is jacked up, the floor jack is set to the rear differential. The vehicle identification number is stamped on the right side of the seat member. The vehicle identification number plate is installed on the upper dashboard, visible through the front windshield. The holes for securing the vehicle during transport are provided in the side seal. Please install the grommets in these holes when the vehicle is delivered. The grommets are located in the glove box. Power window systems with auto up, down and pinch protection are provided on the driver's side and on the passenger's side. The door glass position and the movement direction required to control the system are detected by a pulse sensor inside the power window motor. When the power window motor or the power window regulator is replaced, the system must be reinitialized. Like on the previous Subaru models, initialization is performed by holding up the auto up switch. The door glass position information is stored in an EEP ROM in the power window ECU. Because of this, the door glass position information is not lost even if the power is interrupted by disconnecting the battery terminals. When the power window does not completely close because of wrong operation of the pinch protection, the auto up operation is repeated three times. Pinch protection operation is performed twice in a row. A system abnormality is recognized and complete closing becomes possible by cancelling the pinch protection at the third auto up operation. An index mechanism is used to improve door closing. The index system is a mechanism which lowers the door glass by approximately 20 mm when the door is open, in order to reduce the amount of pressure acting on the weather strip and to make door closing easier by letting the air escape from the vehicle. When the door is open, while the index mechanism is not operating because the power supply to the power window system has been interrupted, there could be a deformation of the retainer due to an interference between the upper edge of the door glass and the retainer itself. Before the battery terminals are disconnected, the door glass must be lowered. If the battery has been disconnected without opening the door glass, open the door while pushing the door glass to the inside. The new Subaru BRZ is available with automatic air conditioner, manual air conditioner or simply without air conditioner. The air conditioning system uses a scroll compressor for power savings. Models equipped with air conditioner have an air conditioner control unit in the air control panel. 
The installed air conditioner control unit is a computer connected to the high speed can. The automatic care conditioner system is equipped with a panel diagnosis function. This allows to check the sensors and actuators, as well as retrieving the diagnostic codes. The panel diagnosis mode can be called up by operating the switches on the control panel in a specific order. By using the SSM3, it will be possible to output various data and diagnostic codes of the air conditioning system. The airbag system is composed of the driver's airbag, passenger's airbag, the pretensioner seat belt and its force limiter, the front side airbag, and the curtain airbag. Various G sensors, such as the front airbag sensor, the side airbag sensor, the side airbag front sensor, the side airbag rear sensor, the satellite safing sensor, and the airbag control unit sensor are used within the airbag system of the BRZ to perform important airbag operation. The pillar trim housing the curtain airbag is fixed with clips and with a tether. When the pillar trim is removed, the tether at the rear of the trim needs to be disengaged. A tire repair kit is provided instead of a spare tire. The tire repair kit is stored in the luggage compartment under the floorboard. Subaru offers a six-speed manual transmission. This AZ6 manual transmission unit is produced by Aishin AI, a model that is already being used by other manufacturers. This six-speed manual transmission was determined to be the best transmission for the BRZ. Together with the development of the six-speed automatic transmission, our target was to achieve high levels in both driving pleasure and environmentally friendly performance. Special attention was paid to optimize the setting of the gear ratio and the shift operation, which are two important items. The BRZ optimization was performed using the main components of the transmission mechanism of the RWD Sports vehicle of other manufacturers series as a common base. The main housing part contains the gear set, composed of the input shaft, the counter shaft, and the output shaft, whereby the input shaft and the output shaft are laid out on the same center line. The clutch housing, the rear housing, and other interface parts have been newly designed to match the BRZ layout. The step gears are arranged from the front in the following order. Fifth, reverse, fourth, third, second, first, sixth. The main specifications are shown here in detail. The specification for the step gear ratio have been selected from other vehicle manufacturers series. The synchronization specifications are triple cones from the first to the third gear and single cones from the fourth to the sixth gear and for the reverse gear. The shift lever ratio provides a short stroke with high stiffness. This is an essential characteristic for a sports car. For the final gear ratio there are two types available according to the grade selection and the lineup also corresponds to demand for low fuel consumption. 
Next, let's take a look at the drive power flow for each gear steps. The fifth gear meshing is the one directly engaged with the input and the output shaft. The output shaft rotates at the same speed as the engine. The sixth gear ratio is designed as the overdrive. The shift control mechanism adopted is of the semi-direct type in order to provide a sporty shift feeling. The design has been targeted to give a clear feeling of gear shifting applying the minimum effort by the driver of the BRZ. The shift forks are fixed to shift roads so that the forks slide together with the shift roads. The sliding ball bearings are adopted in the road housing portions to reduce the friction during the shifting operation. During reverse shifting, the pull-up type shift system is adopted and the mechanism works to release the collar on the shift lever to mesh into reverse gear. Gear oil level adjustment is performed with the same overflow procedure as the 6AT and the level gauge has been abolished. Differing from the 6AT, the 6-speed manual transmission does not have an overflow plug. The gear oil is filled in from the refill plug. The specified level has been reached when the oil starts to overflow. For customers of the BRZ series who prefer AT driving, Subaru offers a 6-speed automatic transmission. Thanks to the layout of the RWD powertrain, the wide range of the gear ratio coverage, the quickness of the gear shifting, and the possibility of adaptive control, it was determined that the TX6A version 6AT, produced by Asian AW, was the ideal transmission to adopt in the BRZ. This power unit, composed of the new Boxer FA20 engine and the 6-speed automatic transmission, was the best combination for the BRZ. The target of our development was to attain high levels in both driving pleasure and environmental performance. We could say that the target was successfully achieved with the BRZ. Special attention was paid to harmonize the control between the engine and the transmission to create a more precise setting and interactive data communication. This resulted in a higher shift response and improved fuel consumption. The main components of the transmission mechanism are three rows of planetary gear sets and four sets of clutches, brake bands and one-way clutches. The torque converter housing, the rear housing, the oil pan and other interface parts have been designed especially for being applied to the BRZ engine, the dry train and the vehicle body. In order to achieve high performance and response, the torque converter, control valves and accumulator have been redesigned. The main components of the transmission mechanism are three sets of planetary gears and four sets of clutches, four sets of brake bands and four one-way clutches, which are engaged and disengaged according to a matrix to obtain six forward steps and a reverse step. Depending on the driving condition of the vehicle and the driver's requests, the TCM judges the step gear and the right timing and switches the hydraulic circuits by sending commands to the control bolts. The hydraulically controlled valve body is mounted at the lower part of the transmission assembly and it is composed of four parts at the top and at the bottom. Seven shift solenoid valves, one line pressure control valve, and one lockup control valve for a total of nine built in solenoid valves. 
Some accumulators and relay bolts are also installed in the control valve body. This hydraulically controlled valve body functions as a central control device. The transmission control module manages the electronic functions of the transmission, ensuring an optimum control of shifting, shift schedule, torque converter lockup, and neutral shifting when the vehicle is stationary. The TCM works on signals from various sensors and switches. The commands sent by the TCM are transmitted to the hydraulically controlled valve body. The TCM is like the brain of the whole system. The diagram of the electronic control system is shown here. The input from various sensors and switches is processed by the TCM and commands are transmitted to various actuators. Overall control is performed while communicating via the CAN line connected with the engine and the vehicle control ECUs. The series of control can be summarized by classifying them into the following 11 items. Optimum shifting control is also included. Let's focus on five of these 11 items which contribute to realize the BRZ concept. They are highlighted and explained in the following screen. Shifting between the fifth and the sixth gear is performed by direct control of the hydraulic pressure applied to the shifting clutch by the linear solenoid valve. This is called clutch to clutch control. Upshifting and downshifting between the fifth and the sixth gear is done by engaging or disengaging the switch of the related clutches and brake bands based on the engine torque and other information. The next one is the coast down shift control that helps to reduce fuel consumption. This function is responsible for precise fuel cut control during deceleration and also when the engine speed deceleration drops below the fuel cut speed zone, injection recovers and this control acts to keep the transmission in a low gear so that the engine speed remains within the fuel cut zone. The third control function is the slip lockup control that also works to improve the fuel consumption by using the lockup function of the torque converter as much as possible. By applying a fine slip to the clutch in the low and medium speed range, this control function acts to enable the lockup operation within a more extensive range. The adaptive control meets human sensitivity. This can be further classified into up and down slope control, braking control, cornering control, and accelerator rapid return control. Here you can see the differences between a vehicle with adaptive control and one without adaptive control. The last item is a control function that works to reduce the shifting time when downshifting. This improves the drivability and the controllability. This control function quickly disengages the clutch during downshifting and then momentarily increases the engine speed to quicken gear synchronization. This function is called blipping downshift control. To check the ADF level, an overflow method is used and the level gauge has been abolished. First of all, we remove the plug from the overflow plug hole. Then the ADF is filled through the refill hole. When the ADF flows from the overflow plug hole, the level has been reached. Dual discharge lamps, including an LED positioning lamp, turn signal lamp and a daytime running lamps are used. The discharge lamps are of the high beam, low beam switching type. An auto leveling system also is used. LED type daytime running lamps are used. The lighting pattern differs according to the specifications.
an auto-leveling system maintains a constant low beam optical axis even when the actual vehicle position changes because of luggages in the trunk. The auto-leveling system is composed of a headlight leveler ECU, a height control sensor and a headlight leveling motor. An auto light system that switches automatically the headlights and the tail lamps on or off according to the surrounding brightness is installed. The auto light system is controlled by the main body ECU. The auto light sensitivity and delay time can be adjusted. A system that automatically turns off the headlights is installed. This prevents battery draining if the headlights remain turned on by mistake. If the ignition is turned off while the headlights are still on, the headlights are switched off automatically. The headlight auto switch off system can be deactivated by setting the headlight switch from any position other than off to off after the headlights have been turned off automatically. The headlight auto switch off system is controlled by the main body ECU. The combination matter is connected to other ECUs via the CAM bus. Sweep movement of the matter pointers and the display of the gear position indicator can be customized by operating the odd trip knob. The battery mounting position is different from the previous Subaru models. The battery is now installed near the bulkhead. The mounting position is different on right-hand drive and left-hand drive vehicles and the terminal arrangement has been changed as well. The plus terminal is always pointing toward the center of the vehicle. Charging control is provided. The main fuse box inside the engine compartment has been redesigned. The DCC fuse in the main fuse box has the same function as the delivery and test mode fuse in previous Subaru vehicles. During transport, the DCC fuse is inserted into the DCC socket beside it and at the time of PDI, the fuse is inserted into the socket next to it. When the test mode is activated to perform a diagnosis, the fuse is inserted into the DCC fuse socket. Also, the fuse and relay box inside the vehicle have been redesigned. The fuse and relay box are now built in into the main body ECU. ECM and BSC ECU compose the main bus, and EPS ECU, airbag ECU, steering sensor, combination matter, TCM, main body ECU, smart key ECU, and air conditioner ECU are connected by branch buses. The main body ECU and the power window regulator motor, as well as the smart key ECU and the steering lock actuator are connected by link communication. The new Subaru BRZ can be equipped with a 6-speed manual transmission or 6-speed automatic transmission. Both are very reliable transmissions supplied also to other manufacturers. These transmissions do not have a built-in front differential. As the torque reaction force is not generated, the pitching stopper is not installed. Manual transmission vehicles use a TL76 speed transmission. The gear arrangement, looking from the front, is 5th, reverse, 4th, 3rd, 2nd, 1st and 6th. 
The synchronization mechanism uses triple cones from the first to the third gear and a single cone from the fourth to the sixth gear and for reverse. Models equipped with manual transmission use a clutch start system in which the start operation is inhibited if the clutch pedal is not depressed. If the clutch pedal is depressed, clutch start switch on, the starter relay turns on and the starter activates. We recommend 75W90GL3 gear oil or one with an equivalent grade. As there is no dipstick, the oil level can be checked right after removing the filler plug. The gear oil lasts lifelong and therefore it is not necessary to be replaced periodically except in case of severe usage. Models equipped with automatic transmission use a TX6A six-speed automatic transmission. The transmission is mounted to the drivetrain via a newly designed converter case and an extension case. These reliable transmissions are also supplied to other manufacturers. The gear train consists of four multiplate brakes, four multiplate clutches, four one-way clutches and three planetary gear sets. The ADF level can be checked after removing the overflow drain plug. Accordingly, there is no dipstick or filler tube. The ATF should be replaced periodically. The transmission is equipped with an ADF warmer. This ensures a quick warm-up of the ADF at low ambient temperatures. The time until the startup of the slip lockup is shortened and friction loss is reduced. At high temperatures, this component acts also as oil cooler.